so hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl vivian here yes i know it has been forever since i was here on this platform but um that has its reasons and today i just decided to come on here so i could share with you one of what those reasons are well it's going to be a short video not too short because um yeah the reasons were or are kind of much Oh, I want to apologize for not being able to keep this channel running um, that's because you know sometimes life just you know life just keep life keeps life in on you and like I was saying it has nothing to do with youtubing or whatever like the difficulties as a small youtuber but this, this what I am going through I was going through that made me to just you know put a break on YouTube totally I know it's not nice because you know I've got a channel and I've got people to entertain or to yeah I don't know how you put that but I think you understand what I'm trying to say so um, because of that I decided to I decided to stop school yeah <laughs> don't judge me okay do not judge me until the end of this video um, you have to understand that um, besides schooling, I'm a mother and I, you know, have other things to attend to. And sometimes things get totally out of the hand with me. And um, yeah, you know, I just get like a blackout, but not like I pass out or something. But I just like I have a freezed moment. And that's because, you know, I, so, those that know me, some of you that know me personally know I'm a very strong person. Like, even if, if I'm going through things, yeah, it will be very hard for you to know I'm going through things because I try to keep my things to myself unless it's much. And what I tell people is what I really don't mind getting out. But things that really concern my personal life, I really don't tell people. And I think for now, I have just one person I talk to. So if whenever, like, whenever I hear something about what I'm going through personally, I immediately know who said it you know that's how small my circle is and I think the older you get the older you get sometimes your friendship circle becomes smaller as well so I think that's just what has been happening to me but let's cut to the chase stop in school um, like I said beside being a student I'm a mom and sometimes my rules that doesn't really correspond with you know picking up my child taking my child to school and um, financially like to be honest with you, I'm just going to start with this. Um, when I applied for school, yeah, um, I wasn't really sure. I was more I was more like, okay, I'm going to get some subsidy. I'm going to get paid. I can pay my rent. I can eat. I can survive. And um, yeah, that was basically my intentions. And then maybe get a diploma or whatever. So that was my basic intention because, you know, working with a child is also tough because I'm a nurse. And sometimes the shift, you know, either you start late or you start very early and still, you know, it's very difficult to combine. Combining as a student is even more better. Combining school with my child was the best option for me. And then I will end up with a graduate, uh, with a diploma or certificate that will, you know, qualify me to be a registered nurse and I can work everywhere in the world, you know, because I get my pin and blah, blah, blah. So that was my first intention. And, um, Yeah. It, it, it didn't go that way it just didn't go as i planned so with school you know schooling in europe is very very different than schooling in africa <clears throat> in cameroon to be precise where i am from so you know here when you when you go to school like every three months in my in my course we have a test and that test determines if you go to the third year or to the second year or to your you know last year so if you don't pass this test, you have a problem because they won't let you sit there and you won't get paid. You know, it's not like, okay, I can just sit here for 10 years and you guys will just, you know, I'll just keep repeat, repeating, I'll just keep repeating the year, the class and you guys will just keep paying me. No, here, when you repeat to a certain time, the teachers just get tired of you and they're like, this is not meant for you. Bye. So, um, after my because i when i applied for this course i was uh i started in the second year because i have my level three nursing certificate already so <clears throat> i had to start in the second year so 
you know it to go to the third year i had to after some months take a take a test with my classmates of course and that test is, determines if you go to the next year so you know we're having a lot of subjects and everything like everything was just too much you know i'll come home i don't even have time to study everything was just too much for me and before i knew it was time for test and i was like it's like what am i gonna do i don't even know where to start studying okay i my head has just been full and that was last year between november and december um that was when we were supposed to take our test to the third year because then you know your last year that you study off so it was tough for me to be honest with you it was really tough for me i was like okay with a child home you call me you have to cook you have to you get it okay you get it i know you get it so for the mothers watching me parents i think you get it so i was like I would just do it and see what comes out of it. So test we got there and uh, I went to school and then test and then you get to the class and you see everybody's separated from each other. You're like, shit, uh, what now? So, but again, I was like, Vivian, you got this, you know, you've been doing this for some years. So yeah, it's just gonna fall in place. Took the tests, everything. Normally we get the results like after three weeks, no after two weeks or so sometimes in a week so i was very i was very curious for my egg for my results because i knew i didn't study enough to take a test so the test came out and i failed two and you're not supposed to fail more than two to repeat that class you are in that's not even you going further the class you are in the year you are in you're not supposed to fail two to repeat it like to redo that second year or whatever so i was like god I failed and you know Christmas was approaching people you know family everybody's you know looking up to you for support and everything and then October I moved to my new apartment so everything was just getting to me okay I, it was I got to a moment where I was like stop like I just want everything to stop I want life I wanted life to just take a take a break count I was like life I know you're laughing right now but please just take a break calm down because now it's like you know I was getting overwhelmed okay Everything was just happening at the same time. I failed. I was, you know, thinking of should I just quit the whole thing and go go work or something. I was like, my head was full. My grandpa was sick. And when I say grandpa is sick, when they call you and say your grandpa is sick, you know what follows. Like, we need your financial support. And then I, w I moved to my new apartment and everything I had to, you know, furnish, buy certain things. Like, it was just a lot to think of at the same time so um i did make some bad decisions and now when i said bad decision it was like i just wanted everything to stop like i said i just wanted um something like i just wanted something that was not in my life at that moment i just yeah, i was tired of everything i felt like you know even my friends i'm not gonna lie to you even my friends i'm not gonna say friends because i have just like one right now like the communication was not even there i remember that period of december my mom was like constantly calling me and i would just see her call and i would just wait for it to just end and then i continue with what i was doing on my phone because i was like i just want to focus okay my priority at that moment was to retake my test and make sure i pass the test i had to because at that moment I felt like I can do it, but I really need to. Focus. I I knew I could do it, no no um no doubt. I knew I could do it, but I needed to really focus at that period because um the time to retake it was like two weeks later after my results were out. So I was like, right now I don't want nobody to talk to me. I don't I don't I just don't I just want to keep my space, okay? And in my head but i wouldn't let people i wouldn't let people around me to notice but in my head i was dealing with a lot and i got to a stage where i felt like if i didn't do something about it i was gonna get depressed because i felt like okay school is not working for me i have a child to take care of my grandpa is sick relationship was not working like everything was just no so for me i just i just felt like What's the need? What's the need? What's the need being on earth if nothing is working for you? You know, in that period, I got to understand that sometimes people don't avoid you because 
they don't want to be in contact with you but sometimes people go through things that they don't they don't feel comfortable to talk about it because you might feel away about it or you know it has to do with you know being comfortable enough to put yourself out there to people or let yourself out there like i said and in that in that period i felt like people were not understanding me the people around me were not understanding what i needed at that period and it was very tough because you know it's like you're trying to make somebody understand something but they're not trying to understand you like you're like okay this is what i really need can you please just give that to me just like in my head i was just like even if it's just for this moment just give me that and afterwards i don't know when when i'm down when i'm and i'm fine okay you can take it back but that so that was that was really where i were last year or and early this year till like february or so i retake the test you know i had to retake the test i had no option it wasn't like it was left for me to choose if i should if i should take it or not if i had to continue schooling i had to take that test to prove that to the teachers and to the school itself that i can do it and to be honest with you registered nursing has always been my passion because you know it gives you like it's totally different from care you know even though i do like my level three i do like medications i do like i really do things like when it comes to health like injections and stuff i i, I do that but registered nursing like you can use it to work other in other countries and stuff and that was that was my that's my goal so i was like god you know you need to see me through okay you just need to i don't know how you're gonna do it but you just have to see me through in this time because i really need you so i don't pray often but that period i did on the day of the test um yeah i, I got there and i was like okay today is this is the day this is it you know it's either i do it now or you know i can just call my teacher tomorrow and say i'm not coming anymore because that's just like i already know what's gonna happen if i don't pass the second time and for my classmates watching me y'all know <laughs> how tough of this 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 course is all right y'all know how this registered nursing thing is so you know you get medical terms that you be like <laughs> can you say that again so you know it was really hard i got there that day um of the test and then you know it was video and stuff so I took the test and after the test i was very positive i don't know where it came from but i just felt like okay this is it i must have done something good or my life is over at this point <laughs> i retake the test a few weeks later i checked on my um student app and no no my a class one of my classmates called me or no she didn't call she texted me or what so she's like um have you seen your uh results because we were a lot i'm not i'm not saying i was the only one that failed okay well like 10 or more that failed and at that point it was like even though it was kind of consoling that i won't be alone if i had to leave but at the second like secondly i was like no i'm not leaving okay you have to be in a point in life where you're very determined about your future and that point i was i was like no it's, it's either i go for this or i go home nothing else there's no working there's nothing for me i'm just gonna just end it all so results came out and when i was going to check for my results like i was after my friend asked that i i was like i'm not gonna check i'm just gonna wait for the teacher to you know call me because when you fail they just call you like you didn't take it what happened and no you didn't make it what happened this was your you know second chance you so i was like no I already know it, it wasn't that good so i'm just gonna wait for the teacher's call so waited like a week nothing so i was like i'm just gonna check so i checked and thank god i passed all the tests that i re I, I retook at that period um or i took at that period excuse my english so it was very relieving for me that, that was in february so i was like okay this is it this is past okay i can now focus to other things because that was what was gonna determine if i'm past my next year of the course okay to be honest with you at that moment when i saw my results i was like okay god you did it for me thank you and yeah i really did like i really did work out that period like i would study like that was the only time in my life i can remember me studying like really studying like picking my school books and like 
I think I even bought books. Normally, I was not planning on buying books because I was like, mm -hmm, I can take from my friends or study with my friends. But at that point, I was like, I need to buy my own books. It was very expensive at that period as well. So that's why I said everything was just getting to me. My books, at that period, in February, I had to buy books for like 600 euros or so. And then housing. And don't get me wrong, when I moved to my apartment, I really, on the day I was moving, I really got financial help. Like, yeah. I was, you know, I got help. I'm not going to say I didn't. I got financial help moving to my apartment. So, bought the books. I've studied. I retake the test. I passed. One thing solved. One problem solved. Okay. And into my life where things started coming back to normal. Like, I could, like, okay, you know, focus on other things. That's why I have not been YouTubing since then. Um... Since my last video, I don't even know, remember when I don't even remember when I posted my last video on YouTube because, you know, at that point it was not my priority because first, like YouTube demonetized my channel, so I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, you're not a priority anymore for me, so whatever, my fi my finances is not coming from YouTube, so that's not a priority. I'm just gonna keep that one at the side first so I figure out other things that actually did matter for me so my grandpa was also you know struggling like i said previously knowing that my grandpa was getting the treatment that he needed i had like i said send money and everything i had to work i had to you know funny just you know get to the point where i wanted to be yes it's not always about rushing it but there, there's just some things that are just a priority okay they are just a priority you can't skip that I remember I lived, when I moved to my new apartment, I was here for like three or four months without a closet. So it was disturbing me, you know, when you want to put on something and there are like so many boxes in front of you and you don't even know where, where what is. So I was like, nah, I can't live like this. And then I had to travel to England because some years back I moved to England and then I had to come back. So my stuffs were all in England and where it was you know they had to move out so it was going to be a lot of work for them to like carry my things i didn't even know where they were going to they are going to you know move to so everything was just i had to like quickly figure out a way to go get my things because to be honest with you i did not want to like move my things yeah i remember my aunt i remember my aunt calling me like okay you know because i tried talking to my aunt about it when i could not figure it out so my aunt was like okay i've got a friend there and uh you know i can ask her if she can keep the things but you know when you already you've already kept your things somewhere and then you have to start moving them to somewhere else i was like no if i have to move my things from where they, they were then i'm just gonna bring them home okay yeah, you understand bring them home so i had to you know look for a means to travel to england by car so i could like carry the things at once so you know all of that it, it's a lot of money you know traveling and with this war ukraine and everything russia you know everything is so expensive benzene is so expensive so i had to work i had to save i had to like cut down on a lot of things in that period and um i just want to give a big shout out to kiki Guagu of all times and her husband for you know being so patient with me with my stuff leaving them keeping them for me over the years for two years and you know helping me get them back intact i just want to say thank you i will i will forever be grateful to you too i'll ever forever uh, i'll ever i'll ever be grateful because i i don't know what i would have done if they didn't keep my things to be honest with you because i have a lot of clothes and shoes and at the moment i was like if if they had to stash them somewhere i basically need to pay for storage and everything so i i just i felt like they had done a lot for me already so it was my time to really go and take my stuff so like i said i need to i needed to save and everything went to england came back and they were doing their children's um baptism the week after i went there just baptism the week after i had already planned to go there and you know when you've already like figured out or you know fix a car to take you there carry your things and you know financially everything and then you go and then you know i yeah i could not change the date i could not change the date i had already agreed to go pick up my stuff so um i had to come from england after picking up my stuff i had to go back the week after um so i was in england two weeks in a row because their children's um but um how, how do they call it 
they were doing their children's christening um the week ahead so i could not stay there for a week as well because my child has to go to school i had school so i had to come back to holland go back to england that same weekend to be there because i felt like they had done a lot for me so it was my time to at least show some love okay some people felt like oh you've got money you're just traveling up and down <laughs> i wish i did or i wish i do but anyways i claim it <laughs> i claim it thank you for professoring wealth to me so um that was not it was not like a fun trip it was really necessary because you know one hand one good terms deserve another so that was just the only way i could thank them by being there for their children's party um every week i have um i have classes with my mentor class mentor so she talks about who is gonna maybe leave school and blah 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 so i was like <laughs> please don't call my name so <laughs> So already I had like, you know, four classmates that already stopped. So it was like, am I going to be the fifth? But in my head, I was like, no, there's no giving up. I've come so far. I'm not giving up. So, um, when the date we had the talk with our class mentor, I was, I, I was normally, I didn't, I didn't want to go to school. I was like, I'm going to go to school just for that. So we're in the class. She was like calling everybody that passed. And then my name was like, normally my name is always at the top of the list. She started you know like okay today we are going to talk about everybody's where everybody stands my heart to be honest with you not only me but <laughs> i'm speaking for myself my heart was pounding out of my chest okay no jokes so normally my name is always at the top because i have my name is agbo so you know it's a and it was you get it so that day I didn't hear my name at the first my house was like oh no so she was like already at the sixth seven i was like what's happening here so i had to call her like i'm always at the first what's happening why is my name not being called and then she was like no vivian you made it you're officially over to your next year i was shoot like it was like at that moment i was like thank god god thank you said so, vivian you made it you passed all your tests so far and um yeah you're you 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 are ahead you know you're going to the next year which was february so i started my you know i started the third year in uh i started i'm now in my third year so moving to my final year so uh yeah you know it was really it was really challenging i ain't gonna lie it was really challenging because to be honest with you people think registered nursing is easy it's very tough and coming from me i'm somebody that looks at things very easy and in the beginning i felt like it was gonna be easy but i got to a point i was like i mean even at this point sometimes we have some lectures i'm like <laughs> what are you talking about so um i you know i just i just feel re really i felt really blessed that at that moment it was like nobody matters to me anymore in my class like normally i would wait to like know how my classmates you know did and everything and when she called my name and she was like if i've called your name you can go home i was like bye before the change mm -mm. before they said no it was a mistake i was already <laughs> I was already gone. I was already gone before she could like say it's a mistake because I didn't want to hear because I felt like I did my best. I studied. I cried. I literally cried that period for school. And um, so February, I officially moved to my next year, my nursing studies, and I'm so I feel so I feel so blessed. And I will be going for my internship in um, after the summer break. I'll be finally going for internship and everything is just going as I had hoped and I just want to say thanks to God yeah so we've come to the end of this video guys and I just want to say thank you very much for anybody that's gonna come watch this video thank you very much for stopping by um by my channel thank you for the old viewers that keep coming I really appreciate y'all I love you all sometimes I feel like I don't say it enough but for my 1900 subscribers i'm really blessed i know i don't give you guys what you deserve or what you might need 
but with time we will get there i just had to prioritize some things i just had to um figure out my future when it comes to my education i you know because i don't want to be a housewife to be honest with you i just i don't want to be a housewife so i'm really like you know fighting for this so that tomorrow if i get married i can support my husband you know live a better life with the kids and stuff so i had to do it to be honest with you i had to do it and um yeah what the future holds nobody knows i don't know and like i said i just pray for the best because i know the best is yet to come yes i do <laughs> and um i'm going to i'm not saying i'm gonna continue uploading videos often but i've decided to focus more on my instagram and my tiktok accounts and handles because i feel like the growth there is more is it's 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 faster and you know i get to do things that i actually love doing on social media like clothing hauls and stuff and so i decided to just focus there i don't know when i will really like be 100 percent committed to youtubing but i think that time is gonna come for now youtube and i are just in a toxic relationship we just keep going on and off but we still look for a way to make it work okay it's all about trying to make it work yes this is the end of the video thank you for coming back thank you if you're new here do not forget to subscribe to like comment and hit that notification bell so whenever i upload a video whenever there's gonna be sorry that was a joke a very expensive one but don't forget to click on that bell so whenever i, I upload a new video um you're gonna get an, an, an alert that i have come back from the dead like jesus is re resurrected this easter but <laughs> but we just i'm just trying to be very real with you people on here i'm not trying to say things that i won't be able to to do i'm not trying to make promises that i won't be able to keep so right now i'm just like see you in my next video do not forget to celebrate this easter with your loved ones and keep safe bye